Hello everybody. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It's beautiful and sunny here in Southwest Virginia. I'm going to show you the big cupboard in the kitchen, how I decorated it. It's got a lot of my regular everyday stuff and just a few Eastern bunny touches here and there. You can see I redid the top of the cupboard totally. That's where I put that set of five of those wonderful bowls with the brown stripes. I have our two butter churns up there. And I do have the little bunny head that my friend Vicki made. And then I have one of the reproduction bunny molds up there. And I did put some of my doilies and there's also a vintage jug. I know it's hard to see up there, but I'm really pleased with the way that turned out and that'll probably stay that way for a little while. When I come over here, I'll open up the cupboard doors for you so that you don't get the glare. I'll just give you a look at the whole thing. In the basket there, y'all remember John made a bunch of those spindle carrots. He cut them and painted them and then I decorated them and put the greenery in them and I just love them. And I have that bunny we got, I can't remember how long ago that's been. I think that was at Goodwill I got that bunny. Then in my two-tier tray, I just have a bunch of vintage pieces. There's that little William Shakespeare tiny book. There's the vintage green dog planter back there and a vintage creamer and a spice grater. And the little tiny moss bunny came from Dollar Tree. And there's one of my vintage bowls and more of the spice graters are in it. And there's that little nest that I made last year. Of course, my crock with my wooden rolling pins in it. Oh, I did get this chicken. I can't remember if I showed y'all that or not. I can't remember which week we got this rooster and chick picture. But I love it. And there is the whisk broom that John got at the estate sale. And I just have some of my old books still there. And my one and only Stife, or Steve, however you say it, Bunny. Then up here, I have all my wonderful Dundee marmalade jars. There's my collection of little advertising rulers. There's those beautiful spoons we got last week or week before last. And there's my one and only tomato spoon in my old wonderful ironstone pitcher. And there's my collection of laundry pins that I've had forever and didn't realize that they were a collection. And there's a couple of metal six inch advertising rulers. And there's where I put the bloater paste that I got from Mandy. That's a little old pin box that I just put a little nest in. Another grater, some old tin Easter eggs with more of our English pieces. And back there is the platter I got recently. And some of the wonderful old bowls and an old cabbage seed pack. And this is a vintage bunny cup and another old tin egg. And Ray Dunn. And I'm going to start pulling open these doors so that you can see without a glare. Okay, on this side, here is an old English ironstone bunny mold that my friend Nancy and Jury gave us years ago. And Ray done with some carrots. And there's those wonderful little potted meat containers and a little 
stamp mold and my cute cow creamer and more done. Vintage gravy boat and a vintage restaurant creamer. And in the gravy boat, I just added that Bajan gold alabaster egg and added that cute bunny. Another one of my cow creamers, and you can see our vintage Sultana peanut butter tin back there. And there's where I put that nutmeg tin that we got. Right, let me shut that door. And we'll go over here to the last cabinet. And of course, these pieces stay out, and I just took the snowman's hat off and put some greenery in there. And there's the vintage teapot and cup that we got recently. And one of my old butter molds and another cow creamer. And of course, I put doilies all along in here too. So this is all of this cupboard. So I'll keep coming back till I get all the kitchen and living room and downstairs done. So love and blessings from me and John and baby boy. Till the next time, bye-bye.